Welcome to Psychology Crash Course Number 1. In this crash course, you'll quickly learn the fundamental concepts and principles of psychology. Whether you're simply curious, looking to expand your knowledge, or even considering studying psychology, this crash course is the perfect starting point for you. In the upcoming minutes, we will embark on a fascinating journey together, exploring the secrets of human behavior and the human mind. Let's uncover the puzzle behind the question why do we do what we do? Together. Ready to dive into the world of psychology? Then let's begin this exciting crash course together. I promise you'll come away from this video with a wealth of knowledge and new insights. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any more thrilling videos. Let's learn and grow together. But enough with the preamble, let's kick off psychology crash course number one. Psychology is the scientific exploration of human behavior, thoughts, feelings, and the human mind. It helps us to better understand ourselves and others. In psychology, the focus is on examining the mechanisms behind our actions and exploring the diverse aspects of human experiences. Psychology is based on empirical research methods and utilizes scientific approaches to answer questions and gain insights into human behavior. It is important to note that psychology is a broad and diverse discipline that is divided into various subfields. Some of the main subfields of psychology include cognitive psychology, which deals with processes such as thinking, perception, and memory. Social psychology is dedicated to the social aspects of human behavior, examining how people interact with each other and influence one another. Developmental psychology explores the changes that individuals undergo throughout their lives, from childhood to adulthood, examining physical, cognitive, and emotional development. Additionally, we have personality psychology, which focuses on individual differences and personality traits. These are just a few examples of subfields, but there are many other exciting fields within psychology. Each subfield has its own research topics, methods, and theories to explore different aspects of human behavior and the human mind. Psychology is a fascinating discipline that helps us to better understand ourselves, others, and explore our world. In this crash course, we will provide an overview of these different subfields and learn the fundamentals of psychology. Psychology has a rich history that dates back to ancient philosophy. Over time, it evolved from a purely philosophical examination of the mind to an independent scientific discipline. One of the most significant figures in the history of psychology is Wilhelm Wundt. Wilhelm Wundt is considered the founder of modern psychology. In 1879, he established the first psychological laboratory at the University of Leipzig and conducted experimental studies to explore the fundamental mental processes. Wundt emphasized the importance of conscious experience and coined the term introspection. In addition to Wundt, other psychologists have made important contributions. For example, Sigmund Freud revolutionized psychology with his psychoanalytic theory, which emphasized the significance of the unconscious and unconscious motives. Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow shaped humanistic psychology, which focuses on the pursuit of self-actualization and personal growth. There are many other influential figures in the history of psychology who have shaped our current knowledge and theories. Their contributions have helped psychology become a comprehensive and diverse discipline. In addition to history, it is also important to understand the various research methods in psychology. These methods allow psychologists to collect data and gain scientific insights. The key research methods include experiments, observations, surveys, and case studies. Experiments are a central method in psychology. They enable researchers to examine cause and effect relationships between variables. On the other hand, observations allow for the observation and documentation of human behavior in natural or controlled environments. The biological foundations of psychology play a crucial role in our understanding of behavior in the human mind. The brain and the nervous system are central as they form the basis for all our thoughts, emotions, and actions. The brain consists of billions of nerve cells called neurons that communicate with each other and transmit electrical signals. These neurological processes influence our sensory perception, emotions, and behavior. Different brain regions are responsible for different functions, such as memory, language, or emotion regulation. Research in the field of neuroscience has allowed us to learn more and more about how the brain works and the connections between neurological processes and behavior. For example, we can now understand how certain mental disorders are caused by neurological changes. 
After gaining insight into the biological foundations of psychology, let's now turn our attention to cognitive psychology. This sub-discipline focuses on the processes of thinking, perception, and memory and explores how these processes influence our behavior. Cognitive processes are fundamental mental activities that we use every day. They include perception, where we take in and interpret information from our environment. Attention allows us to focus on certain stimuli while ignoring others. And memory allows us to store and retrieve information. These cognitive processes influence our behavior and experience in many ways. They play a role in problem solving, decision making, language processing, and much more. Cognitive psychology helps us understand these processes and recognize their significance for our behavior. Social psychology examines how people think, feel, and act in social situations. It explores how our social environment influences our perceptions, beliefs, and behaviors. Topics such as conformity, prejudice, group belongingness, and interpersonal relationships are central to social psychology. A well-known phenomenon in social psychology is conformity, where people tend to adjust their behavior and beliefs to match the norms and expectations of their group. This can lead us to behave differently in certain situations than we would on our own. Furthermore, social identity plays an important role. Our social identity refers to the subgroups we identify with, such as our gender, ethnicity, or nationality. These identities influence how we see ourselves and how we behave in social groups. Social psychology provides us with an understanding of the complex social dynamics we encounter daily. It's fascinating to see how our interpersonal relationships, prejudices, and group affiliations shape our behavior. Social psychology offers us tools to better comprehend these phenomena and potentially bring about positive changes in our society. Now, let's turn to another exciting area of psychology, developmental psychology. This sub-discipline examines the changes we go through in our lives, from childhood to adulthood. Developmental psychology considers physical, cognitive, and emotional changes that occur over time. It explores how we develop from birth to old age, the milestones we reach, and how our personality and abilities unfold. It's remarkable to witness how we develop throughout our lives and which factors influence this development. Developmental psychology helps us better understand the challenges and opportunities of different life stages, supporting us in cultivating a deeper understanding of ourselves and others. Personality psychology focuses on exploring individual differences in human personality. It investigates how we are unique as individuals and how our personality traits, behavioral patterns, and thinking styles develop. There are different concepts and theories in personality psychology that help us better understand the human personality. One well-known approach is the psychoanalytic model developed by Sigmund Freud, which focuses on unconscious processes, drives, and developmental conflicts. Another approach is the humanistic model, which emphasizes the significance of self-actualization and personal growth. It places emphasis on the pursuit of autonomy, authenticity, and fulfilling our individual potential. And of course, we must not forget the Big Five model, which describes five fundamental dimensions of personality, openness to experience, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. These dimensions help us capture the diversity of human personality. After gaining an overview of personality psychology, it's important to understand the distinction between psychology and psychotherapy. Psychology encompasses a broad spectrum of scientific approaches to studying human behavior and experiences, while psychotherapy focuses on the treatment of mental disorders and supporting mental health. Psychotherapy involves the use of various therapeutic approaches to help individuals cope with their mental problems. There are a variety of therapy approaches such as cognitive behavioral therapy, psychoanalytic therapy, systemic therapy, and many more. Psychotherapy is an important area of psychology that assists individuals in coping with their psychological challenges and improving their mental well-being. And that concludes our psychology crash course number one. In this video, we gained an exciting insight into the world of psychology and covered important topics such as the definition and foundations of psychology, history, research methods, biological foundations, cognitive psychology, social psychology, developmental psychology, personality psychology, and the difference from psychotherapy. But that was just the beginning. 
psychology offers us a wide range of fascinating topics that we can explore in future crash courses. In the future, we will delve into subjects such as the psychology of emotions, abnormal psychology, industrial and organizational psychology, and many others. Before we wrap up, I want to thank all of you for your attention and interest. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future crash courses and more exciting content in psychology. Thank you once again for your support, and until next time.